And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back to everyone. 643 on this Friday morning. We have some fog to deal with and with that in mind, a dense fog advisory in effect for Willsey, coastal Willsey and coastal Cameron counties until 11 o'clock this morning. Let me show you the visibilities. They have been lowered thanks to the fog down to half a mile now in Brownsville and in Rio Grande City, one mile in West Laco and in Port Isabel, two and a half in Harlingen and Raymondville, two miles in Edinburgh and three in McAllen. So this is obviously an issue around the valley. Wherever you are this morning, please be careful when driving. Keep your low beams on and take your time on the roads. Mostly cloudy skies right now. We expect these clouds to stick around for at least the first half of the day. We should see some sunshine later on this afternoon. Temperatures right now mostly in the upper 60s and lower 70s with mid 60s out west in Rio Grande City. We are looking at a warmer afternoon compared to yesterday. We had seven clouds yesterday, but at least it felt cool in the afternoon on Thursday. Your day planner forecast. Patchy fog continues at 8 o'clock this morning with temperatures in the upper 60s. We're at the 78 degrees at noon under mostly cloudy skies. And then partly cloudy skies should be back by 5 o'clock, even earlier than 5 p.m. with temperatures in the upper 70s. Here's the surface map. We have one front stalled out over the Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma. Another front, a cold front, is draped over western Arizona. You can see the snow falling for northern Arizona and New Mexico. This front should arrive here in the valley by early Sunday morning, but ahead of that, we are in for a very warm, even hot Saturday afternoon. And the reason for that is we'll be getting winds from the west and southwest coming over the mountains of Mexico. So as that air comes off the mountains of Mexico, it descends and compresses and warms. So we expect high temperatures to be in the upper 80s in the mid valley with lower 90s for McAllen and parts of the upper valley for tomorrow. Record highs, a good possibility of being broken for tomorrow afternoon. That changes on Sunday thanks to the front. The front arrives early Sunday morning. And so behind it, the temperatures will be cooler. We'll have high temperatures Sunday only in the mid 70s closer to normal and the bigger news is that behind the front the winds will crank up so because of the lower humidity behind the front and those winds the fire danger will be high for Sunday so a fire weather watch will be in effect for the entire valley from Sunday morning through Sunday afternoon at least it's going to feel cooler for the second half of the weekend on the water we have winds out of the south at 7 to 12 knots bay waters a light chop seas two to three feet your next tide is a high tide at 721 this evening watch out for some spotty showers and some patchy fog on the coast under the water so for today after fog in the morning we should have partly cloudy skies by later on this afternoon and warm or warmer with a high temperature of 82 degrees. We're going to leave in just a 5% chance, very slight chance of a shower for today. Then for tonight, mostly cloudy skies are back. Watch out for some patchy, dense overnight fog into Saturday morning. It is cool for this Friday night with a low temperature of 64 degrees. Let's talk about the seven day forecast again. If you like warm weather, even hot weather, this is your day on Saturday. 89 degrees with lower 90s out west in McAllen in the upper valley. Very warm, mostly sunny skies. The front comes through early Sunday morning. We're down to 59 for Sunday morning for the low temperature. It is mild with highs in the upper 70s, but windy for Sunday. So again, thanks to lower humidity and the winds, fire weather watch in effect throughout the day on Sunday. We're down to 48 degrees, a chilly start for Monday morning, but not too bad Monday afternoon with mostly sunny skies in the forecast. Very nice with highs in the upper 70s. It is warmer on Tuesday with high temperatures in the mid 80s. It is breezy also for Tuesday with partly cloudy skies. Then another front, this time a weaker cold front arrives on Wednesday. So behind it, we're in the mid 70s for Wednesday. Cooler second half of the week with a high of only 70 for next Thursday. That's your first one five forecast. Now let's